Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your computer is freezing when watching videos. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I want to point out a couple of things right off the bat. Um, generally, this issue is usually attributed to one of two things. Either you have very slow internet, in which case there's really not much I can do for you except suggesting you contact your internet service provider and see if there's a better plan available in your area for yourself. So that's one thing I'd recommend looking into, as well as your system hardware. So your, the second biggest thing would be the hardware. If you don't have at least four gigabytes of RAM, honestly, in today's world, you really need at least eight gigabytes of RAM from my experience. And generally speaking, as long as your computer is somewhat up to date, it's a modern operating system, you should be okay. But if you're using older hardware, lower performing hardware, or if you have slow internet in general, there's really only so much you can do. So I just want to put that out there. This is for really, you know, it's kind of putting a Band-Aid on a larger problem. You probably will need to invest in a better solution for yourself monetarily. But there's a couple of things we can tweak within Windows itself to make your experience a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is open up whatever web browser you do most of your browsing with. doesn't really matter, but you want to go up to the top corner. Most browsers are Chromium-based nowadays, so they function very similarly. You go up to the Settings option of your browser, and since Chrome is one of the most popular browsers in the world, I think it's used by like 80% of computer users use Chrome to browse the Internet, so that's what we're going to use in today's tutorial. But anyway, we're going to select the three-dot icon on the top right, and we're going to go down and select Settings near the bottom. You're going to select System on the left side here, and then underneath System on the right side, use Graphics Acceleration when available. We're going to toggle that to the Off position, and you will need to relaunch your browser for that to take effect. You may also want to look into extensions you have on your browser. So if you go up to the extensions button up at the top, if you notice a lot of extensions in here, you may want to click on manage extensions. They can slow down your browser. So if you have a lot in here, you may want to toggle them to the off position or just remove them. From a security standpoint, it's probably better to have less extensions, I would generally state. So that's something else I'd recommend taking a look at. So pretty straightforward process on that. If you have any drivers, um, if you want to search for your display drivers, for graphics card drivers, for your hardware. You might want to see if there's any new updates available. Check Windows updates as well, see if there's any updates available for your system and install them. And that's generally it. There's only so much, like I said, you can really do here. You can go underneath in the search menu, type in advanced system settings and open that up. If you select the performance option and then the settings button that corresponds to it, you can select adjust your best performance and then apply and then OK. Now I will say it will affect some of the graphic settings. You may not necessarily like how it works, but it might squeak a little bit more out of your hardware. So just keep that in mind. But pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.